I was coached by the sex symbol himself, TN6. Now I'm a superior chamber main and you can be too. If you want tips from TN that aren't so chamber specific, make sure you subscribe because that video is later this week. Now I know y'all are impatient, so let's go. Yay. Uh, and who do we main? So what's our, our main different agents? Um, I play chamber, okay. also play chamber, <laughs> and then I play chamber. <laughs> so our first round buy is... Uh... Four bullets and and uh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to buy a ghost, right? No, it's 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 up to you. It's up to you. Whatever you prefer. First thing I want to say is our trip is redundant right here, so like we're playing right next to our trip. So the trip should be to either watch our flank or to help secure ground that we take. So looking to play showers, this trip is perfect. If you are looking to possibly push up, I would hold the trip and place it up higher. But here, because you're playing on the same angle as your trip, it almost defeats the purpose of it. Mm. Um. So if you're playing this kind of angle here, we want to throw the showers. We we really don't want to be playing this angle pistol anyway with what the gun we have, right? So if if you take a long range battle, you're much more likely to win it than a close range battle. So when we're playing really close like that, um, we're giving up two things. One, we don't have the ability to fall back. Like you have to teleport there, which is not a problem. We want to be aware of um, like we're not. Uh, maximize our opportunity of using the longest range gun on pistol once you get spotted here on this moment you should just teleport out and the reason why is because the information on you is, is live so what they're going to do is they're going to even if it's not communicated properly like i think brim and fade saw you and then this fade haunt sees you the entire other four of them are going to punish you and swing on you the information that you give them by this first peak is enough for yourself to secure your grave we got to be careful of where our, our anchor placement is so you know try and place it as tight to a wall as possible that way it has the least chance of getting broke early in the round what what i'm noticing you're playing very reactive so like you almost kind of sit and have 20 seconds to wait to where they're going yeah and what we want to do is try and change it to a more active style but the round starts and we're looking into a wall just mm. in backside, right? So like, I I'm, I assume you're staring at this mini map right now is what you're really doing. Is we could do a setup where we put one of our TPs either in U-Haul or, or right behind in, in pipes and then jump into the teleporter. Get a much earlier point of information, B. So if we hear them B, we could at the very least be able to spray through the wall and, and hear them and, and know that they're going. And if they end up going A, you can just teleport right back. And uh -huh. you know what I mean? So like, there's no disadvantage to it. It's, it's only... You're only limiting yourself just sitting here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, other opportunities we could do is we could possibly go for showers orb, right? We know they're not coming here. We could we could take an orb, especially because we have an eight point ult. We want to try and get that faster. That could greatly affect the game if you get an ult once or twice more or a half, because um, it's gonna save yourself two, three possible rifles that your teammates could buy and a lack of opportunity here, right? We're playing very reactive. We're waiting for what they're doing. We need to be playing more active. Think about what we can be doing. So we're getting very redundant with our, our trip and where we're playing. You want to trip and then play past it, right? Like the trip's two goals. One is to hold your flank or two, to maintain space that you're controlling. If we're going to play past the trip, there's no point. It's not horrible to actually hold on to the trip here if we wanted to. So if you always wanted to, you could then hold on to it and place it somewhere like deeper, like maybe here. Or if you look up, you can put it like where my crosser is, like somewhere there. Mm -hmm. That way, if they do decide to rotate and you rotate through spawning, you don't continue to push through, you're gonna have a lot bigger window to respond to that versus a deep trip. If we do wanna place a pre-round, we wanna place it where we're not looking. It's providing information is what it its goal is to. After like gold, it's not going off that often. So its value is not stalling a five man push. That's not happening. What the whole value is, is the information that it's, that someone's there. Yes. Well Enemy spotted me. Is that long? Oh. <laughs> it's no way. TB. Our brim turns and has to hold long here. So our brim doesn't have to necessarily be committed to this 1v1 against the Reyna if we knew that the trip was there. Mm -hmm. Or or even like holding it before. So like he doesn't have to worry about it. Furthermore, if he if he isn't worried about it and the trip's not there, they can work up and kill both of you. Yeah. Right? So he's forced to turn and play long versus being able to double with you and trade out for the what's really important and that's stalling time and letting them not come off. And this entire time the trip never goes off, it's it's useless. So this is this is going on to 
I told you now to place the triple on instead of like Huka where you're playing. Mm -hmm. So we're playing Huka. And we have the trip long. That trip's gonna alert you if anyone's there. We don't need to hold that. We could, instead of playing slow here, we could very quickly come to this like green box to get ready to swing or hold the window. But we might not give them that option to even jump out of this if we if we know that we could just swing Huka right away instead of playing more of a passive angle. Just like hold space, I guess. Yeah, if, if you're able to hold it. We're kind of ignoring orbs as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Like right now we would have our ult if you grab the orb, which is completely free. They're not fighting for it. They're not doing anything to you. Yeah. I, I don't know how your teammate's economy is. Like I, I hear a couple of them rest questing bias, but you could have dropped your rifle and be in a bit better economy if you had your ult this round. So tiny things to note, right? Like if, if they're giving us orbs for free, might as well take them. Again, going at that more active play style versus reactive. Nice shot. There's another one, Huka. In sight. Too slow. What? Who is that? Making our information stale. So, what we do here, and this doesn't get punished at all, by the way. Uh, a lot of the things that I, I clip, like, don't end up punishing you in a certain game, but it's stuff that probably has in the past and will continue to. Instead of pushing down to where we just took contact from, we should change our positioning. If we want to push through, maybe push through Hookah or push a different way. It's predictable, right? So they, they know that you just shot someone here mm. and you're most likely pathing if, you, if you're an aggressive player, which you, you are in this case, is to keep pushing through. And by doing that, they, they might either one, hold for you in an off angle and just surprise you, or two, counter you with like utility. Very disappointed in you. 46, I tried my best. <laughs> nice shot. But once we come back, especially if we're not taking a gunfight immediately, we want to just think, pull back our anchor, pull back, you know, right away. We want to be ready to pull our anchors back right away, at the very least the far one. Mm -hmm. um, because you just teleported away and there's a good chance that there could be more following up. If it gets destroyed, it's an extra 15 seconds that you won't have it back. Uh, plus whatever time you waited. So like, let's say you gave it 10 seconds before you decided to pull it back and then they shoot it anyway before you can pull it back. That's yeah. another, you're not waiting 55 seconds for your teleport back. Okay, it's 45 yeah. instead of 30. Make sure we just pull the one that could get shot down right away. Because you're two off, we got it. Like keeping an eye on like what our ult count is, is important. Mm -hmm. Because we're two off, we know that if we, if we grab an orb and die, or, or get a kill, obviously that's possible too. We're guaranteed an ult for the following round so we can make our money like worse, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like yeah we can buy down sense. more. Um, so what I was going to tell you before you, I guess, raise double satchel did and shotgun you in the face mm -hmm. was to try and go for an orb because now you could have your ult and not have to like hunt for an orb this round to get yeah. it.